Hi, welcome. Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be upgrading the M.2 solid state drive. This is the NVMe solid state drive, and I'll be installing in this HP desktop. So let me show you the model number. If you turn it on the side of your the side of the desktop here, you can see that the sticker is listed as HP Pavilion Desktop. TP01-2234 Now the computer comes with one terabyte I'm assuming let's just say this is a just pretend this is a two terabyte I'll be changing out this two terabyte NVMe into this desktop Now before you continue further down the video I just wanted to tell you it is not just change out and voila magic happens It doesn't go that way Okay so what, what's going to happen when you change out a brand new NVMe drive? First of all, this hard drive is blank, right? So you bought a brand new hard drive, it doesn't have windows in it. So you have two options. What you can do is, one, is to start everything fresh from the beginning, meaning that when you change out the M.2 drive, you would have to buy an installer file for like Windows 10 or Windows 11. With the USB installer file, you can load it into that new hard drive that you install. So there's option number one. Now option number two is to get one of these. All right, this is the USB adapter. Uh, this is for NVMe M.2 SSD drive. So what you can do is you can stick your new two terabyte hard drive that you're planning to install into this computer and then you can have a proprietary software which I'm going to list it down in the description below that is called Acronis. Acronis would allow you to clone everything from the original one terabyte hard drive, this computer here, over to this new two terabyte drive. Okay, so you want to clone everything over if you want to keep your windows, your program, your data, everything exactly the same, then you should do the cloning process. Cloning from one to the other, you would clone everything over, all your data will stay here, and now you would have two terabyte M.2 drive. All right, so that would be a little bit talking explanation before you can start, uh, you know, I don't want you to to start buying all these things and ended up not able to upgrade your computer. So if you know the situation, what you're gonna do, either go with option one, change out with this and fresh install, or option number two, get one of this and do the cloning process. So just check the link down description below. Uh, that would helps you to understand a lot better and watch my other video on how to do the cloning process. Now I'm going to jump right into this. Um, first you need to identify which is the side panel. My side panel here is on the right, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to jump right into this of changing out the M.2 drive. So I'll be using a flathead screwdriver. What you want to do is open up the screw, unscrew. The screw does not come off, so just unscrew it. And now the next step is to slide the panel to the left. Once you have slid it, and you can obviously see the M.2, the one terabyte original is installed in the computer. Next step is to get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. Go ahead and remove that screw. The screw is sitting right there. Okay, I just removed it. So that is the screw. Once you've removed the screw, that M.2 is going to slide to your right at 45 degree angle. So slide it to your right and you just remove it. So the thing will just pop up at 45 degree angle and you can slide it to your right. Okay, slide it to the right, remove it. So again, you can install the, assuming this is the two terabyte. So at 45 degree angle, like such slide it back into your left pushing it down and have that screw go back to that 
and that is how you replace the M.2 drive on your HP desktop and refer back to the beginning video I explain it um, you either buy an installer file or get one of these USB adapter and do yourself the cloning process all right thanks for watching until next time and do not forget to check the link down description below bye now